Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. We are on Wild River. Um, the village custom scenario or Valagda region, they like to call it now. Um, I'll explain as we get going. I've got two jobs that I'm going to, when I go get parts for them, I'm going to combine both jobs. But the large pipe is strictly for way home. Some of the other stuff, I'll, I will end up using part of it, part of the pickup for one job and part of the pickup for the other job. Now neither of these are access to location. There's two access to location jobs that I need to do especially the sawmill one because there's jobs that call for lumber. Um, but I have to rebuild some of the infrastructure to make doing the, those other jobs easier. And here we go with this crap again. You know, after the last video, when I stopped the recording, all this flashing and lagging immediately quit when I stopped recording. So it's something to do with recording the video. And now it quit. So it's not strictly just recording the video. There's some other aspect that involves the game. And like I say, I don't think it shows up in the video, in the finished product. But, I guess I couldn't say that for sure. I will scan through my video to make sure that, you know, if I talk about doing a certain job, that it's the job that, that I actually did. Or... Sometimes I won't even remember what jobs, what the names are of the jobs. Um, so I'll scan through the video just real quickly. But, um, Where do I pick up? What's oh, at the other end where I came in? Usually I pick up down here, which is what I was shooting for. Actually, I was.
I don't know. I pick up so many different places. Maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, this looks familiar. One large pipe. Thank you. Now we try and get out of here. If I'd come straight in, I could... If I'd come straight in and stopped at the proper location, I could just back up. But I get the trailer to bounce over that stuff, destroy my suspension, but I got out of there. Now I have to go... I believe I have to go right back past the garage. Yeah, I gotta hit this pipe on the north side of it. So that means... Going right back up the way I went, but turning right. So, I'll mark that turn, mark that turn, mark this turn, mark this turn. And then make sure I go south. I can deliver this right away. It won't make any difference. I don't think until the rest of the supplies get there, but... Maybe it'll trigger a cutscene or something. Even though the job's not complete. By the way, I tried out the Maz 543. I could show it to you by going in to the garage. But I wasn't happy with its performance. What's going on? Yeah, I started going towards help a friend. I thought that was probably the case. That I was off-road. All the flashing and everything that I'm seeing on my screen makes it very hard for me to tell where I'm go going when every
You know what that might be? And it could be worth spending a minute. That could be the logging that the Radeon software does. I'm sorry to do this in the middle of a video, but um, Alt Tab, go to that. I'm uploading a video, uploading the last village video. Open Radeon software. Um, sampling interval every one second. The polling rate for performance metrics. I wonder if I can... I'm already hiding the metrics overlay. Um, that's performance logging location. I don't think I can turn it off. But maybe if it's set to a longer interval. Upgrade advisor is disabled. In-game overlay is disabled. In-game overlay is um, I thought maybe I could make it pop up. There it is. It's at the top there. You can change it around. It shows you what your system's doing. Disabled. Hide metrics overlay, debug logging. I don't need to worry about streaming, in game overlay, disabled. I don't know what else to do. Um, like I say, I don't think I can sh completely shut off the sampling interval. But it doesn't re it doesn't even register that I'm playing this game. because there's no there's no snowrunner.exe for the radeon software to to set up i would set it up i would find snowrunner.exe somewhere in the file system and then add it to the Radeon software and then it would when I start the game it would start its performance metrics logging and all that um and it would 
there's different things it would do as far as um, being able to edit the video and stuff like that. Because it, it would keep a copy of the video until I closed it out or if I just didn't do anything with it. Um, but there isn't any snowrunner.exe. All there is is a web link to Epic Games. So I can't use those features for this game. It would tell me things like how many hours I played and stuff like that. I just need to park this along the side out of the way and then I'll jump in a different truck. Uh, I set up three different trucks to do three different things. Um, so I didn't have to time waste time driving back and forth. See there? Now it flashed one time. And again, maybe I'm the only one that sees that, but well, now it's flashing more. Anyways, I have to go get the metal. That truck is set up to do something else regarding these two jobs get consumables, which all I gotta do is drive forward, and um, and a concrete slab. trailer must have caught the gate. So now it's flashing again. Oh, fuck. Alright. I go across, I turn right, I get on the railroad tracks, and that's where I pick up metal. trying to combine these metal pickups because it's so far. The flashing is causing the game to lag or the game lagging is causing the flashing, one or the other, but it's affecting my ability to get across that muddy part. So apparently the sampling interval had nothing to do with it. because it's not pausing five seconds between flashes. The screen goes black 
for me, I don't know if you can see it, for me the screen momentarily goes completely black and simultaneously the truck stops for a split second and moves on. So it's laggy. But now it's gone. And I guess when you're moving that fast, it's not really that far. <laughs> I don't like this part. You drop into a hole and it upsets the truck. Although it was a little easier going that time, I, cause it, I think because I stayed more to the left. Here we are. We're going to run out of metal up here. Well, there's rolled metal, but the uh, metal beams got to be getting down there. How many metal rolls I wrote down? It's only two metal rolls. And then the rest is beams. And I need three of them. So we'll do the metal rolls. And then go into beams. That beams are gone now. But look at that load. It worked nice to put the two metal rolls both up on the step. Yeehaw, pulling a wheezy because the trailer was catching on something. In theory, I guess, you're using up the metal, metal beams and metal rolls that spill off of those rail cars. I guess that's why it's limited. Oof. Oh. I was... I banged into the car, but I was trying to avoid a rollover. Anyways, moment gone. We could keep moving. I've still been up since three in the morning. I tried taking a nap after I did the last video and had a bowl of cereal. Watch some YouTube that I like. Um, and then just shut the TV off and close my eyes and just laid there thinking about everything that I need to do. So I never did fall asleep. Had my eyes shut for about 10 minutes. Now don't turn left go straight down
After I make the delivery, then I gotta go back up and around. What if you can cross there? Or if it gets too deep, the tractor's sticking out of the water. Cargo management. Two battle beams of the three available. And then bolt the metal rolls. Now the other metal beam has to go to this side of that bridge. So Looks like he probably could cross there. But it brings me up to the wrong side of the bridge. You have to be over here. So, turn around and go back to this side of the bridge. Even if I could, even if I finished fixing this and could go under, I would still have to go through the garage and out to get to this side of the bridge. If you could fix it from either side, it wouldn't matter. I could just sit here till I brought the consumables, then cross here and come up to this side. Anyway, it, it doesn't fix anything to sit here and talk about it. Which road do I gotta go up? I need to back toward that marker. So then I can go toward this marker. Now I can delete the markers. I know the front end's not exactly pointed the right way, but it didn't seem to want to come back. The other job needs one metal beam and then a couple consumables or one consumable and the concrete slab so really all I gotta do with this truck is deliver the metal beam
I found in the past that when the video starts glitching like this, there's usually an update available for radio. I do the update and it works perfectly fine until the next update comes down the line and then it starts fucking up again. It's like it's telling you that uh, we want you to update it. Yeah, I'm still work I'm still doing this room. I don't have automatic updates enabled, but I do have automatic downloads and enabled so it or automatic check rather so it checks for the update but it'll just tell me that there's an update available it does not download it or install it but it's like once it checks for the update that knows there's an update there then it starts going wacky hey, fuck that corner I'm gonna go straight across um, and then just stay on that road instead of going towards the factory Not a rowboat, but there's no oars in it. You know, what the fuck? The devs can put a rock or a tree or a power pole or whatever. A tractor. A broken piece of wood anything to make your job more difficult but they can't put oars in a fucking rowboat hello do the brakes work oh I gotta What the hell? Stop! Show task. Start tracking. Now, pull ahead just a couple of feet and hold for next action. Deliver the beam. Outstanding. Now we'll escape this and back it up out of the way. Stop. Shut off. Handbrakes on. Go back to the garage. Not the service area. 
hop in the Ural, pull ahead and get consumables for this job and the next one. So instead of one consumable, I need three. And then I need two more spaces for a concrete slab. Weight wise, I wouldn't mind putting the concrete slab on front. But you know, actually, I saw. Let's get this going. Not cement, consumables. I saw this video on YouTube about the comparison of weight values between different items. And these consumables weigh as much as concrete slabs. It's kind of, kind of silly. I'm using the Ural 630.95 because I wanted to just use something different. And this is a nice truck. Look at the meats. The Tega tires have better on-road, plus they have um ice capability but don't have to worry about ice and there isn't much on road to do either there's still excellent off road and in mud so I gotta take the regular old way down to mm. this thing could have stand to have more a little more a little more nuts under the hood. Um or maybe different gearing. Got S plus power. But anyways. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Taking the regular old way down to the... What do they call it? The ravine? Is where you get the cement blocks and cement slabs. I wonder where that road goes straight ahead. Uh, it goes into there. And then under here. You know, it does go in there. All I have to do is... Keep following it. Get down to the puddle and turn left. But I can't hardly make the truck move with the lag it's doing right now. It seems like no matter what vehicle I'm in, the lag starts and stops in certain areas.
Are the tires spinning? Or what's going on that it won't get out of first gear? It's the tires spinning in the mud. Well, that's disappointing. I was hoping for better performance out of these wheels, but I don't need to be in the garage to go to the garage. No, those are just chained. The Tegas, the 70 inch Tegas. Let's see if that picks up my ground speed a little bit. Oh shit, look at it take off. Oh, but then it died. Maybe it needs that initial boost when you first hit the throttle. Or maybe it needs staying out of the mud. Well, that's kind of hard to do here. Oh, why did I come this way? <laughs> I had a route that worked. Low plus is a little better. taken off now but that that was fourth gear that's all she's got so the IX 3880 does outperform this truck in its current configuration I think in any configuration. It's got so much more horsepower, or torque rather, than this. We need to add one concrete slab and then turn this puppy around. Go down to Um, you know, this might be a good time to utilize the ability to raise the suspension.
Stiff lock is always on. Hmm. You remember when I came down here? With... the maths and I needed to turn around I didn't have any trouble I just frickin hauled ass and got her done different trailer I can't get up this hill without low range. I gotta do to get over okay just up here stay on the road might as well leave it in low plus for now Maybe just low. Huh. It's disappointing because I've had such good luck with this truck in the past. Must be heavier mud than last time. I mean, I used it on the meteor map. And I, I, well, this was the prior meteor map, not the one I'm on now. If I don't get up there soon, I'm going to be needing fuel. I think I can make it. Um, the prior meteor map, I was running laps with this thing. I had several trips to make between A and B and um, it was hauling ass. But now it has different transmissions available than it did then. Maybe if I put a different transmission in it, it would go faster, but it's got like a multi-purpose and a special, and I think they're all junk.
I think this is on console and I think to get on console they're altering making alterations different transmissions and whatnot so they're not as OP as they used to be that makes any sense they're trying to appease snowrunner There we go. A piece, no runner, so they can get on console. Making it not so OP. Now, I can use the bridge, drive up across this crossing, and hit the north side of that. This is going to come to an end here soon. Ah, just about at an hour too, so looks like the timing's going to work out pretty good. Way home, start tracking. The only thing left is two consumables. Nice new bridge. And I checked on the tasks and I do have every last one of them in my list. Um, I was thinking I didn't, there were some I didn't have. I didn't realize I needed to just scroll down. Finally got up to fourth, and this is an acceptable speed, although it's not the greatest. But how often does it get to fourth gear for any length of time? Mr. Tractor Driver got off in the deep water. Now, opening this up will allow me to run along the water's edge across all those bridges and get back to yay get back to the garage by running across these bridges or going through the water. Some of it's water, some of it's mud. There might be a little piece of bridge or two, but it takes you back to that other entrance to the garage. 
that you couldn't previously utilize unless you wanted to jump off of the broken bridge like I did with the crabs in the last video <laughs> that's that's cool looking a pier for boats a star there should be if the devs knew their asses from a hole in the ground there would be fuel pumps on that dock that Hummer is one of our jobs I guess you go up there with a big crane and pick it up from beside the building. See, there's that ramped bridge that I went flying off of. And here's the garage. Yay! Whoops! Oh well. We'll just leave it right here. Turn it off. And say... Adios! Got a good angle on this. All right. Oh, the new warehouse over there, in case you didn't figure it out yet, holds concrete and consumables. I forgot to check that at the end of the last video when I built the warehouse. So, that's an hour. And we fixed a pipeline and we fixed a bridge. Now in the next ne next time I come to this next time I come to this map, I will be able to do a couple of access to location, including the sawmill. Alright, well thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.